when Destiny Rescue uh, rescues these uh, girls and some boys, actually, um, they bring them back and some of them have to be hospitalized right away or um, they, but they, Destiny Rescue takes them into full care um, and takes care of their physical, emotional, and mental needs right away. Um, they have a social worker that works with the girls right away and um, they take care of those immediate needs and um, once the girls get settled in with Destiny Rescue then they will um, help them to learn a new trade and one of the one of the things is the jewelry making um, they make beautiful jewelry um, we sell we've been selling that at the salon um, and one of the big things that got us and got me and salon lofts was that they actually have a hair salon there um, some of the girls that have been rescued are learning to be hairdressers or have become hairdressers and are actually working in a salon. You went to Thailand this summer. I went to Thailand this summer, yes. Last summer. Yeah, this past summer, yes. And uh, you went with Destiny Rescue. I went with Destiny Rescue for two weeks, yes. Um, then when we got there, uh, they uh, Destiny Rescue actually took us, our, our team, through Walking Street. We went to Patea in uh, Thailand and Walking Street is Patea is known as the sexcation capital of the world. There's over 20,000 brothels in that city alone. And um, they took us through a well-known area called Walking Street. Um, it's a mile long of nothing but bars and brothels side by side. Um, but they took us through that so that we can witness and see what all goes on and what these girls are involved in. Um, when they get rescued. So um, they took us through that one night and then the next day they took us to the first rescue home. And that was amazing to go through what we did the night before and then to walk into a rescue home and see these girls so bright eyed and so full of life when we didn't see that the night before on Walking Street. It was like walking through the Walking Dead. It was like a Walking Dead thing that we went through and to see these young girls so full of life and so receptive of, of us coming in and although they were they were shy to begin with and when we first walked in and but um, they warmed up to us as we started to talk to them and um, but we spent a lot of time while we were in Thailand for two weeks and went around to all the rescue homes that Destiny Rescue has. They have the hair salon already established over there. Um, so I went and I had my hair done and it was just like having it done here. They were very professional. They were very good at what they did. My hair was beautiful when they got done with it. They have a, a restaurant a coffee shop too where they teach them to be bar uh, baristas and cooks so um, that's where we got most of our food they took care of us and feeding us for, for most of the trip while we were there when we weren't traveling to other parts of the country to visit so the catathon is to raise money for these rescues it's to raise and, money and for destiny home. rescue and to raise awareness the of words. human trafficking yes because Ohio is the worst in our country. Uh, say a little bit more about that. Um, yeah, Ohio is the worst in our country. Uh, Cleveland and Toledo is the worst are the worst cities. Um, they say some of it, a lot of it, has to do because of our international waterways. Um, so just trying to create that awareness. A lot of people here here have no idea how bad it is. I'd say most people are in awe when I bring it up and tell them. There's slave traffic on Route 75. Yes. Coming from the north through Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. All the all the major express 71, 75. I understand 75 is the worst.
Good, we're gas. Yeah, we are. <laughs> 